Exposure to respirable crystalline silica can cause serious lung disease and can be a major risk to the well-being of colleagues within the minerals sector if not controlled correctly. Here at CPI Euromix, we control and monitor exposure to inhalable dust and RCS using best practice technology wherever possible, with fixed LEV and filtration systems supported by mobile vacuum systems for housekeeping duties. The HSE are now more focused on overall employee well-being rather than simply safety. We recognise the importance of this change in emphasis given our operations and re-examined the adequacy of control measures in place. As a result of this review, we identified an area of potential risk that had not been previously identified. With housekeeping duties at all 10 of our manufacturing locations performed using large portable vacuum machines, the possibility of generating a concentrated flow of airborne RCS particles became apparent. These machines were purchased from Dysab Limited and had been in operation for around 10 years. In discussion with Dysab, we noted that the standard filtration media was fitted to this type of machine, rather than a high efficiency system. Exhaust monitoring was then carried out on a sample of these machines to assess the efficiency of the filtration. This assessment identified that very fine particles such as RCS, if present, would not be removed with the standard filtration system. With these units venting back into the workplace, it was clear that the process could represent a significant source of RCS emissions. As the vacuum system has to be mobile and is used in many areas of the factories, installing fixed venting pipework was not a feasible solution. Therefore, we challenged Dysab to find a way to improve the filtration efficiency. Dysab designed a bespoke and innovative bolt-on solution which inserted a HEPA rated filter between the main filters and the vacuum pump, overcoming the difficulties in applying high efficient filtration to such a high volume vacuum machine. A trial unit was ordered and installed, like for like monitoring of the exhaust was commissioned and clearly indicated that the HEPA filter was removing the fine particles to a high efficiency level. £30,000 of capital funding was then secured on the basis of this trial to modify the fleet of 10 machines. To replace the machines would require an investment of £300,000 and this retrofitted filter clearly offered a cost-effective solution. With each factory now operating one of only 10 HEPA-rated Dysab skip-vac machines in the UK, we've removed a potential source of RCS exposure to our workforce. With the knowledge shared from this project with one of the leading manufacturers of dust extraction equipment in the UK, this is a potential to significantly improve RCS controls throughout the industry.